Perfect. Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick, easy, and straight to the point because we all know we get protective styles in our scalp. Ooh, child, it'd be itching, okay? And if you're like me, the pat method don't work, all right? It really does not work, and you're just sitting there looking. No, I can't. But in all honesty, I wanted to show you guys my holy grails in preventing a itchy scalp during, you know, box braids, faux locks, any type of style like that. These two products right here are my holy grails. The best thing that has ever worked for me, especially if you don't want to wash your braids just yet, you still want them to look nice and sleek. <laughs> um, these two help and you can use them daily, okay? So the first product right here is called Sulfur 8. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty good. I know there's a little glare. Um, but what it is is an anti-dandruff medicated um, spray. Now I saw this when I was at my local beauty supply store. My favorite store out here is United Beauty. So shout out to United Beauty. Um, but this, I saw this and I was like, oh my god, why has nobody ever told me about this? Why? I mean, honey, I was shook. I mean, I'm still processing it because all my life of having like braids, weaves, sew-ins, which is weaves, stuff like that, nobody has ever mentioned that this product existed. So this one really, really is nice. However, it does smell... It, it has like a weird smell to it. I don't know how to describe it other than like the throat spray to numb your throat when you have a sore throat. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know if to some people it might smell like something else, but this is what I like have come to a conclusion in my mind of what it smells like. So what you go ahead and do is just literally spray this right onto your scalp. You can move some of your braids around, you know what I mean? Um, and it comes out in a nice mist where you can feel that it's saturating your hair and all that, but it's not, it's not too much. It's not going to be dripping everywhere. Now, you can use the Sulfur 8 all by itself. You don't need to use this product. However, I've recently started using them on and off. So some days this, some days that, some days both. But today I'm going to show you both because it is really, really important. And it is the Do Grow Mega Thick Formula Hair Oil. And let me just tell you right now, this smells so damn good. I was shook. I was worried because if y'all have tried the Wild Hair Growth Oil, y'all already know it. It stinks, okay? So with this, I was not sure about what to expect. To be honest, it couldn't be any worse than the wild hair growth oil. I don't, I don't know. I'll put a picture somewhere on the screen. If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. But um, basically, what this does is it thickens damaged, weak hair, and it promotes new, healthy growth. It hydrates your scalp, keeps it nice and moisturized, and really, it's full of a lot of natural oils. Um, so what you do with this is you take the top off. Um, and it has a small nozzle right here, and as you can see, this is what the oil looks like. Nice and hydrating. And like I said, it smells so good. This is the best hair oil I have ever smelled. So, what I do with this is just go ahead and apply it everywhere where my braids are parted to really just saturate my scalp, keep it nice, healthy, hydrated, so what you're going to go ahead and do once you apply your oil is just rub it into your scalp nice and gently. I mean, you don't really want to mess up the foundation of your braids, so don't go crazy. But it really does help with moisturizing and you can definitely tell the difference immediately when you put it on that your scalp feels nice and hydrated and ready to conquer the day without going like this every five minutes. <laughs> All right, so that is it for this video, guys. Like I said, these two products are definitely my holy grails in preventing itchy scalp for whatever your protective style may be because, honey, 
Ain't nobody got time for an itchy scalp. But anyways, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you guys want a tutorial on this hair, don't worry. This video is coming soon. I know it's weird. I'm making the maintenance video before the actual tutorial, but y'all let me know that you wanted to see the tutorial, so your girl's gotta come through and provide it for you. <laughs> Again, that is it for this video, guys. If you liked it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.